Today's topic is Rolle's theorem from mean value theorems. So this is the proof of the Rolle's theorem. And first, the statement of the Rolle's theorem states that if a function f maps from closed AB to R is such that f is continuous on closed AB, f is derivable on open AB, f of A is equal to f of B, then there exists C belongs to open A comma B such that f dash of C is equal to 0. So, in between A and B, there exists a point C such that f dash of C is equal to 0. So, this is the most important thing. So, after then we have to show that and this is all the given statements. So, it is given that f is continuous on closed AB, f is derivable on open AB and f of A equal to f of B. Using these three statements, so we have to prove that there exists a certain point C belongs to open A comma B such that f dash of C is equal to 0. For that, in the proof, what is given in the first point, it is given that f is continuous on closed AB. I am taking this point, f is continuous on closed AB. If it is continuous, so we can say that, which implies that f is bounded on A comma B. So, there is a theorem, if f is continuous on closed AB, implies that f is bounded on closed AB and attains infimum and supremum. So, this is an another theorem statement. So, if f is continuous on closed AB, we can conclude that it is bounded and it has infimum as well as supremum. So, what is the infimum and supremum? So, there exists alpha comma beta belongs to A comma B. In between A comma B, there are two certain points alpha comma beta such that f of alpha, if you place alpha in the function, we will get infimum value small m, so which is infimum of f and if we keep beta in the function, so f of beta is equal to capital M which is supremum of f in closed A comma B. So, there arises two cases. So, first one, if infimum is equal to supremum and if infimum not equal to supremum. So, in these two cases, we have to prove Rolle's theorem. So, first of all, the case one here is if infimum is equal to supremum. So, what happens? If infimum is equal to supremum, then f of x is equal to small m. So, initial point is equal to final point. Then, there will be a single point. So, f of x will be small m for x belongs to close a comma b. So, whichever the value you keep, you will be getting a single value. So, we, we say that f is a constant function in a comma b. So, if it is a constant function, if you make a derivative, then this will be 0. So, f dash of x is equal to 0 for every x belongs to open a comma b. Then, we can say that there exists a certain point C. So, in place of x, if I take C, C belongs to open A comma B such that f dash of C is equal to 0. So, which is nothing but the Rolle's theorem. So, in case 1, if infimum is equal to supremum, if infimum value is equal to supremum value, only single value remains, then we say that it is a constant function. If you make a derivative, it will be 0 and hence Rolle's theorem uh, statement. And the case 2 here is if small m not equal to capital M. What is the small m? Infimum not equal to supremum. Then since from the third point we have f of a is equal to f of b. So I have taken since f of a is equal to f of b and small m not equal to capital M. Then we have either see here if capital M not equal to f of a and hence capital M not equal to f of b. See here, these two are equal. If capital M not equal to f of a, then capital M not equal to f of b. And also, if small m not equal to f of a, and hence, small m not equal to f of b. So, I am taking one condition that capital M not equal to f of a. So, what is capital M here? Capital M is nothing but the supremum value. What is the supremum value? So, f of beta is equal to M. So, if you place beta, then we will be getting M. So, I am writing the same thing here. f of beta is equal to M, which is not equal to f of a. In this case, if I take M not equal to f of b here, so M not equal to f of b is also given. So, what is M again? f of beta. 
so f of beta is equal to m which is not equal to f of b in this case if i equate these two so f of beta not equal to f of a here and f of beta not equal to f of b then we say that beta not equal to a and here beta not equal to b see here so so there is a here and b here if beta is not equal to so if beta not equal to a and beta not equal to b then beta will be in between this one so in between a comma b so we say that a less than b less than beta less than small b so beta belongs to see here beta belongs to open a comma b so according to our theorem proof so we have to uh, state that there exists c belongs to open a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to 0 so we got a point that b belongs to open a comma b now we have to show that according to the rules theorem now we have to prove that now we have to prove that f dash of c is equal to 0 so f dash of so f dash of beta is equal to 0 so according to our uh, theorem statement just let me show you this one so there exists c belongs to open a b here in place of c we got beta beta belongs to open a b such that we have to show that f dash of beta is equal to 0 so we got in place of c beta so beta belongs to open a comma b now we have to prove that f dash of beta is equal to 0 so in order to prove that let us suppose that so here let us suppose that what we have to suppose f dash of beta is uh, less than 0 so f dash of beta is less than 0 if we say f dash of beta is less than 0 then according to our statement then there exists delta 1 positive such that see here f of x is greater than f of beta what is f of beta which is equal to m for every x belongs to this is beta minus delta comma beta so which is a subset of closed a comma b so here if you observe this one so f of x here f of beta equal to m so here f of x is greater than m for every x belongs to for every x belongs to a comma b so here m is a supremum so which which is always uh, positive which is always greater than any other value so here there is a contradiction so which is a contradiction which is a contradiction since m is the supremum of f m is the supremum of the function f so here why did you get the contradiction because our supposition f dash of beta is equal to 0 so our supposition f dash of beta is equal to 0 is false therefore f dash of beta is not less than 0 similarly we can prove similarly we can prove f dash of beta not greater than 0 therefore if it's not less than 0 if it's not greater than 0 according to the law of trichotomy we have f dash of beta is equal to 0 see here beta is a point from open a comma b see here beta belongs to open a comma b such that we got f dash of beta is equal to 0 so in place of uh, c we have taken beta so which is nothing but the rules theorem hence rules theorem so this is so simple let me explain you so this is the statement of the rules theorem if a function f maps from closed ab to r is such that f is continuous on closed ab f is derivable on open ab f of a is equal to f of b these three statements are given in the statement and what we have to prove that we have to prove that there exists a point c belongs to open a comma b in between a comma b there exists a point c such that f dash of c is equal to zero so so this one we have to prove 
So these three steps are given. So according to our proof, in the first statement, what is given? F is bounded on closed A B, closed A comma B. So according to our previous theorems, we have if F is bounded on closed A B, if F is continuous on closed A B, then F is bounded on closed A B and attains infimum and supremum. So what are those infimum values and supremum values? Let us take alpha comma beta, which is in between A comma B, such that if we substitute alpha. in the function will be getting the min infimum value and alpha beta if you keep in the function beta will be getting the supremum value this is the supremum of the function in closed a comma b then there exist after getting these two values there are two cases here either these two are equal or they may differ so in the first case if we take minimum infimum is equal to supremum see imagine if infimum value is equal to supremum value if the initial value is equal to final value they they remains only single value here so f of x is equal to m so which we say that it's a constant function and we can if we uh, make a derivative for a constant function this will be zero therefore there exists c open a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to zero hence rolls theorem statement and let case 2 so if infimum is not equal to supremum and it was given that in third statement f of a is equal to f of b so if i take if i have taken f of a equal to f of b then see we have either this case or this case so if capital m not equal to f of a then capital m not equal to f of b because they are equal if small m not equal to f of a then small m not equal to f of b so i am taking these two uh, values so if capital m not equal to f of a then see what is capital m capital m is nothing but see here capital m value is nothing but f of beta so if i substitute here f of beta equal to capital m then f of beta not equal to f of a in this case also in place of uh, m if i write f of beta then f of beta not equal to f of b in this case beta not equal to a beta not equal to b so beta is not equal to a and it is not equal to b so it will be in between a comma b so a less than beta less than b so b belongs to open a comma b so we got one point that b belongs to open a comma b next what we have to show that we have to show that f dash of beta is equal to 0 so here is the statement so in place of c we got beta belongs to a comma b and now we have to show that f dash of beta is equal to 0 so for that now we have to show f dash of beta is equal to c 0 so let us suppose that f dash of beta less than 0 if it's less than 0 here is the statement according to f dash of beta less than 0 so here if you observe that so f of x is greater than uh, the supremum value so there won't be any other value which is more than the supremum therefore f of x greater than m is a contradiction since m is a supremum of f therefore our supposition why we got this contradiction because our supposition that f dash of beta less than 0 is false so we have to accept that f dash of beta not less than 0 and similarly we have we have to prove that f dash of beta not greater than 0 if it's not less than if it's not greater than so it will be equal so we got beta belongs to open a comma b and now f dash of beta is equal to 0 so which is nothing but the rolls theorem hence rolls theorem this is the proof if you go through the textbook also so it, it will be very easy thank you for watching and this is one of the requested videos so hopefully i i understand that uh, it it will be very useful for you and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end